Can you imagine a business so corrupt that it could do anything it wanted and still get away with it? Welcome back to the heart of the stories we tell. And my name is Rob, I'm the host, and today we're going to be looking at Delos, part of the Westworld. Specifically, the company that runs Westworld, the one that William owns. There's a lot to unpack here, a lot to do with exactly how the back of Westworld works, so we're going to get right into it. And we're going to start off by just saying, if you have any questions or other theories that you want me to cover in this series, leave it down in the comment section. In the meantime, we're talking about Delos. And Delos is a pretty messed up company when you think about it. In fact, it's one step away from being a prostitution hub. Let's start by just outlining the facts. What do we know? Well, we know that it's all about money, and the fact that Delos has some way to use the software and hardware to make money. We also know that they charge $40,000 a day before Delos even bought this place, so, wow. We know William is either the CEO or head of it. We know that Teresa was directly responding to the board of directors, and that's an important thing. Board of directors is important in what type of company we have. We also have that Miss Hale has no problem walking around but nude or requesting sex spots for her personal use. And remember how creeped out William was at the idea of those sex spots to begin with, so we can tell already exactly how much has changed since he's turned into the man in black. We also know the company at one point in time belonged to Logan and his family, and that William married into it. Interestingly enough, in that one episode where we saw someone who knew William, he said that his company saved him. So that's something. We know that there are multiple legacy systems within Westworld, and that they've been hodgepodge together, and that it doesn't all run seamlessly. We know that William's kind of a hands-off manager, too. That he's let Ford run around crazy doing whatever he wanted all this time, as long as he got what he wanted. Which, of course, was a mixture of the maze and everything else. So what can we extrapolate from this? Well, a couple of things. First, we're going to focus on board of directors. Do you know what that actually is? A board of directors is the people who run the company. Specifically, they normally work with the CEO representing shareholders. Now, not-for-profits could have one, too. And at first, you might think that that whole, hey, you saved my, uh, was it sister's life, could lead to a not-for-profit. But you need to think about how Logan was acting. Logan doesn't strike me as the type of person who was a not-for-profit. And as much as I can't tell you what they do do, I can tell you what they don't do. They're not a video game manufacturer or at least not a very good one. Now, the only part we know about Delos is the vacations of the future, which of course is Westworld, and maybe Samurai World, but you know, whatever. The thing is that, what would a company that would invest in a place like Westworld do? Could it have been a technology company of some sort? One of the problems with Westworld is how little we really know about it, about the world in general, about what the situation is, we know that they've cured everything, and as such, it makes the world a much less fun place, because there's no challenge for William. No one dies, no one gets robbed, no one dies of cancer, I'm assuming. Or maybe just the big ones like cancer are still around, but little things aren't. The world's got to be relatively peaceful for that to be the case, because you can't just go join the Foreign Legion to get the experience. So, what would Delos do? I mean, could they be manufacturing parts to help disabled people? Maybe. Could they just be a general software company? Sure, why not? The problem is, is that through all of this, we've actually learned very little about them. A quick Google search did tell me that it was the birthplace of Apollo and Artemis in ancient Greek mythology, and that there actually is a city of Delos that is pretty important for archaeologists, although I don't know for sure if that's really important to this. So I guess that could be a dead end. I mean, we could draw some analogies to uh, Apollo and the birth of gods and the fact that the machines are gods to man because they don't age, and I'm sure that there's a theme in there that I could work with some symbolism with, but that's not really what we're looking at. We're looking at Delos specifically. So let's get back to what we know they have. Well, we know that they have satellites. And what type of company has satellites? Well, communications companies for the most part. Or ones that run with paramilitary groups. And hey, wait a minute. Now that you mention it, what else do we know Delos has? Oh yeah, guys with really big automatic weapons. Hmm... 
So for those of you that don't know, Delos also has its own website. You can find it just by Googling Delos. And it's currently offline. Well, it's currently down. I wouldn't quite say offline. After the incident that happened in the park. So, looking into Delos, there's not a lot for us to work with. But there's some interesting tidbits and some things we know that at least we can guess, providing they did the research. So, for now, why don't you let me know what you think down in the comment section. Do you think that we're going to learn more next season, or do you think it's just going to be all-out war with the machines? Either way, I'm going to continue talking about Westworld, so if you'd like to help build my community, give me a like, a subscribe, and share this video so that we can build up, and then join me next time as we take a walk through the heart of the stories we tell. Thanks for watching.